Ages. Brandon Robinson is a sports and entertainment staff writer at The Source magazine, and he joins us here in our New York studios to talk about this, because it's all anybody can talk about. Yeah. First, first of all, <laughs> are, are you surprised by this, and what do you think were the major factors driving this conclusion? I wasn't surprised. It was one of the best-kept secrets in the NBA. Uh, obviously, I'm around these guys on a daily basis. Um, and my sources were talking as, as far back as last summer. Um, about how much this was going to happen. And, uh, you know, th th I think the biggest factor for LeBron and, and the Heat was the fact that they did lose to the San Antonio Spurs in the 2014 NBA Finals. And I think had they won, they it would have probably been a different conversation. Was, and, and was this more about leaving Miami or no. about going back to Ohio? Well, it's bigger than that. Um, a guy from Northeast Ohio um, was drafted by them in the 2003 NBA draft. Um, but Cleveland has a better talent on the floor. You have Kyrie Irving, their, their point guard that they just resigned for five years, $95 million. You have Tristan Thompson, you have uh, Andrew Wiggins, you have uh, Deion Waiters and a new coach in David Blatt. you got a lot of new faces, but talent-wise, they're better on paper than Miami is currently. Well, why is it such an anticipated event for the entire globe? It's in Brazil. It's uh, a big deal. <laughs> Every year, regardless of where it is, it's always a huge event. Honestly, the biggest thing is you have so many teams that just mash up well. The U.S. even has a great team that's, that's highly competitive. You have Spain, you have the U.S., you have the Netherlands, you have Germany, all these these great teams and don't forget Brazil so you, you just have a lot of teams that that definitely just are gonna bring it this year and, and do well uh, what Josh Gordon did wrong he uh, violated the NFL substance abuse policy I was tested uh, positive for marijuana use uh, second offense in the NFL and uh, it's unfortunate situation the NFL today banned him for a whole year and what do you think of this decision? Listen, this is what you signed up for. You play in the NFL, a privilege. People want to play in the NFL and want your job. It's not the first time that he's got caught up. And, you know, the thing about it is he, bl he blamed it on secondhand smoke. Uh, hanging with some friends. Listen, when you when you average almost 1,700 uh, reception yards in a season and nine touchdowns, you need to watch the company that you keep. So unfortunately for him, he's got to sit out the whole season. God, the NFL being the entity that they are, I spoke to a uh, director of uh, security for an NBA team today, and he said to me that when you know investigations are done with players and things like that, one of the first things that directors do is they go in and they'll, the organizations will give them the surveillance tape once they identify who they are. Whether the NFL did or did they didn't, they were in some way lax, either the two-game suspension that they initially gave or the fact that TMZ did their work in finding a video of one of their employees hitting a woman. Yeah, and just is it, is it about time? Is this a good thing, or does it even matter? <laughs> it kind of reminds me of my mom uh, and my stepfather. They refuse to call the New Jersey Devils. They're devout Christians. They call the New Jersey's team the hockey team. So it's kind of one of those things. It's kind of thought-provoking. I think that, you know, people say it's against journalistic ethics to do so. I believe that, you know, they took a judgment call. You know, you know, if people are feeling as though uh, they're being slighted and that, that their demographic is not being represented in the most positive light, okay, fine. So then with that being said, go after the Atlanta Braves as well. Go after the Cleveland Indians. Um, but I think that the, the Washington Redskins, starting with that, I, I think there's a start. I hope that there's something good to write about the Washington Redskins this season uh, <laughs> as, as RG3 uh, is recovering from the ACL injury a year later. But, you know, I, I think it's a, a step in the right direction. I think it was a judgment call, and I think that um, – more, more publications should maybe take a stance such as that.